princess! Oh, princess! <laughs> whatever is the matter? I don't know! I just started crying for no reason! <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> hey, is that an onion? Princess, were you eating this when you started crying? Yes. Well, no wonder you're crying. Uh, onions can make people cry. Oh, really? I didn't know. I had never taken a bite out of one before. I was so hungry, you see, so I went to the kitchens for a snack. But Cook was gone, and all I could find was this onion. And I thought, if I use my imagination and pretend really hard that it's an apple, it would taste like an apple. But then I just started crying, and I thought, I must be sad about something because people cry when they're sad. But I didn't know what I was sad about, and that just made me cry even harder. <laughs> and then you came. Who are you? Uh, uh, my name is Albert. <laughs> Albert. That's a nice name. I'm Gwendolyn. Uh, Princess Gwendolyn. Princess. Do you remember what I told you about pretending? Yes. Pretending is fun, <clears throat> but don't take it too far. Take care, or you could wind up with a scar. Her imagination is a little bizarre. See, I got this scar on my chin because I was pretending to be Jack and the Beanstalk. I imagined I had my own special beans that I planted, and they sprouted and grew up into a ginormous beanstalk. But it was really just the old oak tree in the garden, and I climbed up, up, up the beanstalk. But then I fell all the way down, and I hit the ground very hard, and I scraped up my hands and my knees, and I hit my chin on a sharp rock. And after that, Eldrick and my father told me, I mustn't get carried away when I'm pretending things, or I could really hurt myself. Wow. In case you hadn't noticed, the princess has quite the imagination. What kinds of things do you like pretending, Albert? Oh, well, well, I've always imagined what it would be like to be a knight of the square table. That's why I'm here today. El Sir Laughs-a-Lot and Eldrick are already training me. Guess you can check Save a Damsel in Distress off your list, huh, Albert? Sometimes I like to pretend I'm a knight. I imagine I'm riding into battle on my horse, or fighting a fearsome dragon. But then I usually end up breaking something, like the time I was running through the Great Hall and I knocked over a vase and broke it. Sir Lapsalot has already given me some sword fighting lessons. Oh, I wish I could learn how to use a sword. <laughs> hmm, I sure don't, but speaking of that, Albert, we ought to get back to your training. Oh, I should like to introduce him to my father first. It wouldn't take long. Uh, I'm not sure, your highness. Uh, the king uh, is a very busy man. Oh, he <laughs> wouldn't mind. Especially because Albert helped me. I think he'd like to meet him. I'll go get him. Y you okay there, Albert? You're white as a sheep. Uh, I think you mean white as a sheep. Hello? Uh, Anybody home? I'm going to get to meet the king. I can't believe it. Now, Albert, don't forget to bow. And call him your majesty. You've got to make a good impression. Okay. Okay. Now, now, Sir laughs a lot. Don't make him any more nervous than he already is. Just be yourself, Albert. And come and meet us outside afterward. I will. Father, this is the boy I wanted you to meet. Albert. Oh, dear! Albert! Albert, wake up! Oh, your Majesty! Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, young man. You may rise. I was crying when Albert, Sir laughs a lot and Eldrick found me. Albert figured out right away that it was because of the onion and helped me stop crying. Oh, Gwendolyn, what am I going to do with you? Thank you for helping my very imaginative daughter, Albert. 
Albert is training to be a knight of your square table, Father. He just arrived at the castle today. Ah, oh, well, you are most welcome here. You know, knighthood is a high calling. I rely upon my knights to help protect the kingdom and to stand for truth. May you train well and prove yourself worthy. Uh, th thank you, Your Majesty. Will Eldrick and uh, Sir Lapsalot be training you then? Yes, they've already started my first lessons. You could not be trained by two better men. I look forward to seeing what God does in your life, Albert. But for now, I must return to my duties. There's much to do. In two days' time, we ride to a nearby village to settle a dispute between some noblemen. Off with you now. And no more snacking on raw onions. <laughs> yes, Father. I'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> I'm still quite hungry, though. I think I'll go to the kitchen and see if Cook is back with any real apples. Can you find your way back outside all right, Albert? Uh, yes, I think so. See you later, then. Bye. Hello there. Whoa! Uh, your grace! Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see you there. The princess is a delightful young lady, isn't she? So charming and creative. I guess you could say that, yeah. I just happened to be passing by and saw you with the king. I know. I, I got to meet him. And on my very first day, too. How exciting. That was very thoughtful of him to take time out of his busy day to meet you. Yes, he does seem very busy. It sounds like he has some kind of trip planned here soon. Oh, is, is that so? Did he say where he was going and when? Uh, a nearby village, I think, to solve some dispute with nobles. And I think he said he was leaving in a couple days. Hmm. I wonder which village. Albert, do you think you could find out for me? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, that's all right. I was just wondering. I'm planning a special banquet for the king and all the nobles. If I knew where the key was going, I would know how far away it is and when he'll be back and what night I should plan the banquet. Oh, well, that, that seems all right. I, I, I could ask the princess and see if she knows. Oh, thank you, Albert. If you do this for me, I won't forget. Thank you, Your Grace. Eldrick, Sir laughs a lot. I'm back. Oh, it's just me, George. How are you, buddy? Albert, how did it go with the king? Were you nervous? Well, hey, that reminds me of a joke. Which of the king's knights never doubted himself? Uh, I don't know. Which one? Sir Tain. You know, like, certain, certain. <laughs> I think Albert and George have had enough of your jokes for one day. Hmm, you're probably right. I need some new material. Maybe Sir Percival can help. <laughs> I have something for you, Albert. Now, you have dreamed your entire life of becoming a knight of the square table. But more important than becoming a knight is becoming a child of God. Now a knight has his armor, yes? There is another kind of armor that God gives his children to wear. It's invisible, but it is nevertheless every bit just as real. And the first piece of this spiritual armor is the belt of truth. Now put that on. May this belt be a physical reminder to you of the spiritual armor given from God to his children. The belt of truth helps us to be people who tell the truth. Just as God does. <laughs> Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth with an unshakable faith in God and his word. Thank you, Eldrick. I will cherish it always. But, uh, Eldrick, how do I become God's child? Let's sit down. Albert, there are two kingdoms, the good and the bad. 
The good kingdom is God's kingdom, and the bad kingdom is Satan's. When we are born, we are born into the bad kingdom. From our childhood, we reject God and disobey his rules. This is called sin. Sin is what separates us from God and his good kingdom. But God sent his son, Jesus, to be the perfect substitute for our sin. Jesus lived a perfect life. He died in our place and rose from the dead so that we may be forgiven and enter into his good kingdom as children of God. We need only admit that we have sinned, and that we need Jesus to be forgiven. If you do this, God will make you his child and give you his spiritual armor to wear so that you may have an unshakable faith and stand strong against evil. I see. I have a lot to think about after today, Eldrick. <laughs> yes. And when you think of these things, you should study the Book of Truth. That's right. The special copy that you gave me with... Uh, what? But it was, it was right here. Oh, Eldrick, have you seen it? Uh, I'm sorry, Albert. I've not seen it since I gave it to you. Oh, hello, Eldrick. Hello, Albert. Aw, oh, hi, boy. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Do you want a treat? You want it? <laughs> uh, I can't find it anywhere. What's the matter, Albert? Uh, uh, the special book of truth, the copy that Eldrick gave me with all of his notes. It was right here, but now I can't find it. Uh, I have to find it. Uh, wait, uh, Albert. Albert! I can help you! Uh, uh, wait! Uh, oh, let's think about this. Uh, Albert, perhaps you should try retracing your steps. <laughs>